بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئن ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو سلیکٹ اے کیپیسٹر ویلیو فار ہاف ایف ڈائیوڈ ریکٹیفائر سرکیٹ دس از وولٹیج سورس وی ون ٹین وولٹ پیک ویلیو اینڈ ففٹی ہرٹس اٹس فریکوینسی وی گیٹ دا آؤٹ پٹ آف دس سرکیٹ لائک دس دا پلسز of 9.3 volts like this this is pulsating DC its negative half cycle is clipped because of the diode and this process called rectification so the next step is to select a capacitor value and how to calculate its value now you can see there are three formulas two formulas for this we this is ripple voltage we are I the current through the load this is uh, current through the load I and F is the frequency which is equal to 50 Hertz and capacitor value with the help of this we can calculate ripple voltage actually ripple voltage is uh, acceptable up to 20% of the peak value so uh, and usually ripple voltage is given so um, set uh, VR is equal to 0.5 volts now come to the next formula we, in this formula this VP is peak voltage and this peak voltage is 9.2 volt VR is the ripple voltage and R is the load resistor and F is the frequency after uh, substituting the values we get C is equal to 470 microfarad now let's simulate the circuit and see what we get this is a half wave rectifier circuit in multi sim let's simulate the circuit this is the rectified output and its peak is almost 9.3 volts because of the diode drop that is 9.3 almost 9.28 and negative half is clipped let's add the capacitor and see its effect let's simulate the circuit see the output now you can get this uh, this is the pulses at the output this is the output voltage and it has pulses if we increase the capacitance value the pulses will be removed but uh, we need to optimize the circuit and it should be as low as possible because a higher capacitance value will have a bulky capacitor so we will limit to a shorter capacitance the next circuit is two diode full wave rectifier with a center tap transformer this is two diode full wave bridge rectifier circuit with the center trap transformer and voltage source v1 with 20 volts peak and 50 hertz its frequency its output is this and the peak is about 1.3 volts again the same two formula we are in the ripple voltage i is the load through the load the current through the load f is the frequency and c is the capacitance value another formula C is equal to VP and VP is 1.3 volt. VR is the ripple voltage. R is the load resistor and its value is equal to 1000 ohm. And F is the frequency which is equal to 50 hertz. All of the values are given. Set VR is equal to 0 0.06 volts or 5% of the peak value and 
with the help of these values c is equal to 470 microfarad now let's simulate the circuit the pink waveform is the output waveform adjust the scale first the pink waveform which is equal to 3.6 volt peak in the output and pulse setting and the other two waveforms are from secondary windings of the center tap transformer now let's add a capacitor here now the pink waveform is no more pulsating it's a straight line DC and you can observe there are very less ripples in this uh, voltage so the choice of the capacitor is right no need to adjust it This is the bridge rectifier circuit. Two four diodes D1, D2, D3, and D4 a step down transformer and voltage of voltage source of 20 volts and 50 hertz frequency. Now again two formula here. Here, here consider VP is 3.6 volt in this case VR is again 5% of 3.6 volts this is peak voltage the here is the peak voltage 3.6 volts 3.6 volt is the peak voltage and VR is set to 0.18 volts and R is 1000 kilo ohm and F is 50 hertz now with these values let's simulate change the frequency to 50, volt, 50 hertz and let's see this is the output waveform the pulsating DC and it is peak is 3.6 volts now let's add a capacitor here and see its effect this value of capacitor works for us these are very small ripples and no need to um, add some higher value capacitor this value works the best in this case thanks for watching goodbye for now